So you've heard about the genome, but have you heard about the serum? The serum is the totality of a single individual's secreted antibodies. What they bind to, what they react to, vaccines, a virus, the foods you eat, the things that you're allergic to, the microbes that live in our gut. Every time your immune system reacts to a virus or a bacteria, there's a chance for part of that virus or bacteria to very closely match a literal piece of the human body. Sometimes this leads to mistakes. All of us are walking around with very strong autoantibody responses. A lot of the times when this occurs, nothing bad really happens. But sometimes these autoantibodies are against really critical proteins, like a particular protein of Epstein-Barr virus. In some people, a portion of that virus cross-reacts specifically with the glial cam, which is expressed on our neurons. And so it's possible that about 25% of the total multiple sclerosis MS population are having their disease induced specifically by an infection with Epstein-Barr virus. And so for that reason, knowing when, where, and how different autoantibody profiles arise is really important. This is Huprot. It is the only protein microarray of its kind which represents the majority of the proteins in the human body. You take blood and you react it with the slide. You next come back with a detection antibody which can be read on a laser microarray scanner. In other cases, it's more valuable to have more fine detail, and that's enabled by FIPSeq. Our two most important autoantibody FIPSeq libraries, HuScan and MouseScan, are an entire reference human and mouse proteome cut into small overlapping pieces. You react your library with an individual patient sample. Next, you capture the antibodies. Next, you barcode, pool, and sequence all the captured phages. A deeper understanding of seromics, powered by new synthetic biology platforms, will unlock new information, enabling doctors and scientists to better treat human disease. Thank you.